Welcome to 2020. The world has been brought to its knees by coronavirus. Follow the guidelines set by your country. And in the United States, you can go to cdc.gov slash coronavirus to get the latest information. Contrary to what you have heard, the easiest way to avoid this disease is actually stay at home. So when we stay at home, we have to work from home for the people who still have jobs. So when you work from home, you probably would have used any one of these software from Skype to Zoom to Google Meet, BlueJeans, Cisco WebEx. And uh, what these software enabled you to do is to communicate with uh, your uh, fellow employees, students, uh, mentors, and stuff to take care of your things. And um, the usual scenario is you have a headphone with a microphone, and the biggest issue that you would face is actually background noise. These softwares do have some kind of noise filtration, and uh, from my experience, these results vary. The prime example is my previous video. What I didn't realize is that I upgraded my keyboard to Cherry MX Blue switches, and you can hear the Cherry MX Blue switches going on and off throughout the video. So basically, that is kind of very annoying, and I'm really surprised that Adobe Premiere Pro did not take care of removing those noise from my video. But anyway, we'll just proceed with this video and see how we can take care of that. So noise cancellation is very simple. Um, so all of the simple way to approach noise cancellation is let's say you have an input that's shown here. You can define a boundary, so that is your noise. So you just remove anything below a certain decibel and uh, filter out your um, signal. And then that signal is feeded into your software. So that kind of takes care of uh, the, the noise. And basically the background noise is still um, visible if it is loud enough and uh, the humming noise and all that stuff will still be present. Um, so basically Adobe Premiere Pro has a bunch of software uh, denoising uh, things that you can set up that are directly taken from Adobe Premiere Pro's help site. Um, so you can actually filter out noises based on harmonics and stuff like that, uh, take care of reverberations, um, the S's and H's, the enunciation of different syllables. You can take care of uh, noise filtering to whatever extreme that you want to. So there are advanced methods of doing this. Um, but what I came across recently is actually a, an artificial black box. Let's just uh, call it a black box because we don't know what is happening inside. Um, so what this does is it takes a input, that is your microphone input, um, it recognizes noise and separates noise from voice. So this particular black box is trained um, to recognize human voice. That is, is the data set that is trained on is actually clean human voice. So what it does is it filters out the background noise. It could be a keyboard. It could be people shouting. It could be children shouting in the background, cats, dogs uh, shouting. But all it does is uh, recognize your voice and just filters it and in the end, you end up with a clean voice. So this uh, is called NVIDIA's RTX voice, and it's pretty cool. Uh, so this just released this week, so I, I got to try it. I think everyone should try it, and um, let me go over what this is. So NVIDIA voice is, uh, is uh, developed by NVIDIA. Um, so they are the makers of the NVIDIA graphics cards, and uh, what they did is they actually leveraged the NVIDIA's RTX GPUs. So the RTX um, GPUs have uh, two very special abilities. That is, they have RT cores, that is your ray tracing cores that are used when you play your video games. It draws those beautiful lights and you know animations during the explosion in your video games and stuff like that. And you have your tensor cores that are used for your machine learning and stuff like that. So basically, the new graphics cards have both of these and you can leverage these two hardware that you're probably not using while you're on a uh, voice conference call and basically uh, get rid of noise using hardware. So in a real case scenario, you're probably not playing video games. So the graphics card is just sitting idle. So what we can do is instead use RTX voice to filter out um, the background noise um, using the idle graphics card that's sitting there. So 
like Nvidia says, yes, you can use RTX video cards to actually do this. But what they don't say is actually, even if you have a GTX GeForce graphics card, you can utilize that to do this um, voice um, filtering and taking care of the background noise. So I'm going to show you on my laptop, that is this laptop is a XPS 15 laptop that has a GTX um, 1050 Ti. So it doesn't have the RTX graphics card. This is from two years ago. And uh, what I'm going to show you next are three different steps. That is your installation of this particular software setup, and I'm going to show you a demo. And uh, hopefully that will take care of uh, all the background noise in my future videos, as well as um, during my video conference calls with my colleagues. So let's go and download this app, which I've already done over here. Let's go and install this. Okay, so when I try to install it, I am get greeted with this beautiful message because I have a GTX 1050 Ti on my XPS 15 over here. So it's not going to let me install this. So I'm going to close this. So I'm going to go into my C code in, go into temp, RTX voice, this guy, and let's edit this guy, notepad plus plus. And let's remove this content over here. Save this, yes. And now let's go back to setup and this will continue. So this is how you can easily and quickly install RTX Voice. Okay, so now that we have installed NVIDIA's RTX Voice, that's this tool over here, have the task manager open so you can see that it's this OBS over here is actually encoding this particular screen. That's the screen that you're looking at. And this uses the input as a microphone. So here, what you have to do is once you get it installed, you need to choose the appropriate input. In this case, you just choose your microphone that is connected to the computer and the output over here. What is doing right here is there is no background noise reduction going on over here. There are no filters on my OBS. So pretty much with no background noise filter on the OBS as well as here, you're going to hear my keyboards. I'm just going to clack on my keyboard. I hope you can listen to it. My microphone is in the same spot. So I'm going clack, 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 clack. And yeah, so there you go. So now you should be able to hear my keyboard. Okay, so now um, let's go and change the output. So I'm going to go and change the output to NVIDIA RTX. Okay, so again, the same thing because there's no background noise uh, reduction happening. So boom, 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 nothing is happening. Okay, so basically, can still hear my keyboard go clack, 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 clack. Okay, so let's go and turn on the removal of background noise. And uh, there you go, took a while, but there you go. So now I'm just clacking. I hope that uh, this is actually working and the uh, RTX voice is using machine learning to filter out the background noise and only keep my voice going in this particular video. So what is shown here in the taskbar is actually that this particular GPU is being used to encode this particular screen as well as taking care of background filtration. So you can use this for your favorite um, voice app. You can use it with uh, Google Duo. You can use it with uh, um, Zoom, uh, BlueJeans, whatever is your favorite uh, work from home tool that you're using to actually filter out uh, background noise. So see you, bye.